saya ada bersama dengan peguam-peguam saya lah dan saya uh, dengan nasihat kepada peguam uh, pihak apa nama polis tanya berkenaan dengan uh, artikel saya AG to AG tapi saya tidak jawab soalan-soalan yang spesifik berkenaan dengan artikel itu kerana saya uh, harap dapat menjawab apabila ada hearing ataupun perbicaraan dalam mahkamah yang mana uh, saya lebih berpeluang untuk jawab soalan-soalan uh, uh, yang dibutuhkan Selain daripada itu, saya juga menyatakan kenapa uh, saya disoal oleh polis sedangkan banyak orang lain uh, bercakap uh, berkenaan dengan perkara yang sama, uh, membuat anggapan yang sama tapi mereka tidak disoal oleh polis. Apakah ada diskriminasi dalam uh, perjalanan uh, pihak pemerintah ataupun polis ataupun AG uh, untuk me, uh, membuat tuduhan terhadap saya sahaja dan tidak orang lain yang juga membuat kenyataan-kenyataan yang lebih kurang sama So, was there any indications that you will be what? In court or uh, they didn't say anything. This is the preliminary inquiry. So I will wait to see uh, what the charges they prefer. But they did mention the complaint that was made by somebody in Kelantan uh, uh, regarding my article. AG from Kelantan? No, 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 no. no. Yeah, so some Indian is from Kelantan. Okay. So this is the second time you are being uh, questioned, interrogated by the police, yeah? No actions been taken. Do you really think that they want to put you behind bars? Uh, I don't know. That is, they have a right to put me behind bars if I have committed something, some crime. But I hope that in this country, you don't put people behind bars for no crime. Do you feel intimidated because if it's what they want you to shut up? No, I feel intimidated of course, but that in exercising my right to speak, I will continue to speak. Uh, to, you say you say that uh, you hope to have the chance to uh, talk about the case uh, in court. That would be after you uh, prove prima, the, I mean the prosecutor prove prima case uh, firstly against you. You expect uh, they charge you and and the case will be uh, able to prove uh, prima case be, basically before you uh, uh, reply in at, at, at the uh, uh, accused doc. Yeah, on the basis of what information they have, mm -hmm on the basis of my article and the questioning they made, they can make a decision whether there is a case to be heard in court or not. But as for me, if uh, they charge me in court, I will go to the court and I will go through the various procedures in the court, answering questions and all that. So now, did it indicate that uh, they're going to come and see you again? No, they didn't say anything. During the questioning, how long was the questioning and did they ask anything else? They asked about 30 different questions. Some of which are just minor details, like uh, when did I have my blog and things like that. Those are things that I can answer. Uh, who writes uh, for me and my advice? Those are answered. Berapa ramai peguam bersama tu tadi masa sesi rakaman perbualan ni? Lima orang. Lima orang. Lima orang. Full force. <laughs> you defended what you wrote ah? Huh? What you wrote in your blog? No. You I didn't defend. I didn't uh, talk at all about that. I merely said 
uh, I will not answer. Which means, of course, that if they charge me in the court, I will answer. But the tone you stood by what what you you stand by what what you uh, wrote. Personally, I stand by, but it's not to them. I didn't say I stand by or anything like that. But uh, they, they didn't ask that question. You had to answer in court, in court to bring it on yes, if yes. they want to charge you. So dia datang soal tadi eh, dikatakan tiga pegawai tapi itu menyediakan peguam yang ramai apa signifikannya tu? <laughs> dia saya punya peguam pun kena take down notes, uh, kena semak, kena uh, nasihat saya. It's going to continue. I will say what I think is the truth. Even if I am charged in court, I will say the truth in the court as well as outside. That's my stand. Do you think they will bring you to court so that you can ex explain it in court? Yeah, if they charge me in court, I will go to the cause. Of course, I will ask for witnesses and others uh, who may uh, be involved. So the, the Prime Minister is dying to move on. Um, you know, the ringgit has strengthened. Do you think the worst is over? No. When you steal money, the crime is still there. <laughs> you still have to take, I mean, uh, take uh, action on the crime. Whatever else you do, you pray, you ask for God, you ask them to forget about past and all that, that doesn't mean. Even if you give back the money you have stolen, but the fact remains that you have stolen. Good. Uh, since you are so confident that uh, you are willing to go to court, uh, does it in any way indicate that you yourself have a lot of evidence in hand? I will answer that in court. <laughs> 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 to now the uh, Auditor General's... Uh, have you seen the Auditor General's report? No. The final report? No. Because the delay is at the uh, PAC. Yeah? Uh, now, they said that they will try to table it. Uh, yeah, they are outside the country, so they are not available. So they cannot hear the uh, Auditor General's report. Uh, Dr. Zeti said that she is working towards having the probe on one MDB wrapped up by April before he ste she steps down so that she can hand over a clean slate to the successor. Do you think that's possible? I think it's going to be extremely difficult. But of course, that is a good wish on the part of a person who is retiring. You always want to leave a clean slate. I left a clean slate when I decided to resign. Uh, recently, uh, Datuk Mahfuz uh, met you and then later he said that uh, yeah, he said that uh, you wish the opposition to s unite if they want to topple uh, uh, the Prime Minister. Uh, whoever to re replace uh, as a next uh, Prime Minister will discuss later. Can you confirm that? No, I think the time has come when parties doesn't matter anymore. This is a problem affecting the nation. I wanted everybody to act as citizens of this country who are concerned about what is happening. Okay. And as citizens, whether you belong to the opposition or the government, it doesn't matter. Now is the time to act as citizen mm -hmm. without party affiliation or loyalty. Okay, uh, Dr. Mahfuz also asked, say that he asked you to um, make the call for everybody to unite uh, to, to for this cause. Are you willing to commit yourself? I mean, <coughs> given that uh, you have now uh, being investigated, uh, well, are you prepared to do that? A lot of people see me and say they support me, but uh, I think the public ought to know who supports and why they support. So I'm willing to do something to explain to the public that uh, because of this support, I need to uh, make some progress.
can you elaborate that? I mean, what, what yeah, people things? ask me, please do something. Okay. Then are, are you going going to commit? Yeah, I have done something. Okay. First, please do something. First thing I advise Najib, doesn't work. And then I told Najib in a private letter, I don't support him anyway anymore. Doesn't work. He hides the letter. And then I made public that I don't support him. These are things that I do. Okay. Sticking my neck out. And people support me, but they support quietly. Mm -hmm. They speak softly so that Najib cannot hear. <laughs> are you going to uh, take a more drastic action? No, I don't know what you call drastic. I, I mean the but call uh, I for think the I have to make it clear to Najib that it's not just me. It's a lot of people, citizens, concerned about his kind of administration based on cash is king. Uh, in, in, uh, there are many people who have the opinion that this uh, dispute that you're having uh, with the current administration and you uh, actually in, in indirectly affecting the economy and also the political landscape of this country. It is the behavior of the government, their policies, there are scandals which is affecting the economy. You know, this scandal is reported fully in foreign press, full page, telling about what Najib is doing. Of course, that will affect the economy. It is not what I say, it is what Najib does. On, on March 27th, uh, the gathering that organized by Guide, will you be taking part and be the, take the lead? Yeah, if invited, I will go, of course. Are you still challenging uh, the AG to swear on the Quran if indeed the MACC report nothing implicates? Yeah, I finding? think he should swear on the Quran. It's a good way for a Muslim to prove that he is speaking the truth. Of course, he cannot lie to God. If he lies to God, he goes to hell. Yeah, uh, what is your take on uh, Dr. Sri Najri? Uh, claim that he, he want to uh, uh, ask the party MT to refer Tan Sri Muhyiddin uh, to the discipline board and have him suspended for his uh, uh, outspoken speech. What he is saying is that we cannot speak now. All we can say is, I support Najib. If you say anything different, then your action will be taken against you. It means there is <coughs> no freedom of speech in the party and in the country. Any other questions? Uh, two. Uh, two. two. Do you look, uh, are you prepared, I mean, given that the government have uh, launched action against you, uh, do you, do you prepare that uh, you, you might end up in jail? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> if you think, stick your neck out, it may be chopped. So you prepare for that? Well, uh, if that's uh, going to be the end of my life in jail, okay, that's it. So same thing uh, with uh, the three unknown. Huh? Maybe end up in uh, Sinagulu. Uh, maybe we'll <laughs> share the cell together. <laughs> uh, so is it correct to say Tom, that this is uh, not personal but more for your love for the country and the party? There's nothing personal. I am very well off. I am pe a pensioner. I get $10,000 pension a month. I have more food than I can eat. I can travel anywhere. I can enjoy myself. So I have no personal problem. I, I worry about the future of this country. Uh, Tun. Uh, do you think that Najib should sue the WSG, Wall Street Journal? I think he should. I think he should. It should sue everybody, not WSD, but why pick only on a few people? I mean, the WSD said all kinds of very nasty things about him, more than I ever said. So he should sue. Then why he, why is he uh, choosy? 
why is he choosing? I think because he thinks that WSJ is right, he is wrong. You don't sue people if you think you are in the wrong.